My first words must be ones of congratulation and best wishes to you both. It's my wish, and I'm sure the wish of all of us here, that your marriage will be all that you hope it will be. In spite of knowing that everyone is here to support and cheer you on, there will no doubt be a bit of nervousness and apprehension in the air. Weddings wouldn't be the same without it. Whatever has happened in your lives in the past is just that, in the past. And you are setting out now on a new part of the journey, taking a different road from the one you've traveled so far. You are here poised to make a new beginning. The message that Christ came to bring, and that the church often very inadequately tries to pass on, is that it is love alone that counts, love alone that triumphs, and love alone that endures. I will take you, Sarah, to be my wife. I, Sarah, take you well to be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To death do us part. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Now, if you can do it decently and without too much passion, you may kiss each other. <laughs> I know I said it earlier, but first of all, Sarah, you looked absolutely incredible today. And it was truly special seeing you walk down the aisle. Now, I would be here for hours if I was to stand here and list everything that we all love about Sarah. But there are just a couple of things that I must say. I could have never imagined I would ever meet someone who makes me feel as lucky as I am today. And I'm so excited I get to spend the rest of my life with you. This has without a doubt been one of the best days of my life and I'd like to thank you all for making the effort to be here. This is where I should probably talk about how I play things cool as Will pursued me. But from the moment I approached Will in Inferno's and told him how good looking he was, I've been anything but cool. In fact, I was so nervous for our first day I nearly had to cancel. I'm so glad I didn't though. Over the last six years, we've made some great memories. We've traveled all over the world. We've eaten our way around a lot of good restaurants and we've even renovated a house. And despite our differences around how the dishwasher should be stacked or what, <laughs> or what constitutes hygienic hand washing, <laughs> well, Smith, there is no one I'd rather be in lockdown or spend the rest of my life with. So would you all please raise a glass to my beautiful wife, Sarah. Yes, sir.